Welcome back, Maniacs. Today, as the title suggests, we will be taking a look-see at the Plan B Supply Company, their competition, Mech Mod. And there's two different versions I'll be showing you today. One will be the 2019 Plan B Competition Mod Stacked 18650 and its kit. And then the other one will just be the competition mod, which is not stacked, 18650. So, this is the box that the single tube came in. With a very nice clamshell box. It's like this. It's got the Plan B SupplyCompany.com, and then it's got these little doodads and your bag you already it comes in and this a nice very nice case your stacked mod will come in not so nice a case it'll just come in this relatively cheap looking clamshell but it does the job so let's put that one in there and then let's put this one in here and That is disturbingly bad light, but we will make it work. All right, so let's take a look at the single tube mod first. And let's see here. I'm on the bed. We need to do better than this as far as light goes because this is a black mod. And it is just absorbing the shit out of this light. <laughs> so, give me just a minute here, folks. We're going to do a little bit of rearranging. <sighs> like so. All right. Hopefully... kind of doesn't want to get in there but all right so I think we've got enough light now for our purposes let's take this here so let me adjust the focus here all right so here's what we've got going on this is your single tube 18650 we have the plan B supply logo two airflow holes the DOC is the name of the RDA on the mod itself we have the another logo on the bottom we have another logo and I mean it is a nice logo and everything but damn folks um, can we you know ease up a little bit on the logos got some venting down there and then it's got this nice real nice shape to it very comfortable in the hand all right so if you've seen any of these um rdas before in the past um they've been re people have reviewed these already so it's no big deal they are a two post deck screw and thumb it's got a relatively shallow juice well if we can get in let me see if I can't get way in here. You can see that hole right there. That's for squonking. And it's got one of those on each side. You can kind of see all the way through it. And it goes all the way across. So each side of the juice well does not connect to the other side of the juice well. So if you were to put juice on one side, it would not migrate its way over to the other side. We have an 810 drip tip. This one is Ultim. It's actually not bad. It's quite comfortable. So let's go ahead and go here and let's take a look at the switch. Because this switch is very, very nice. So, 
we'll unscrew that and then we'll talk about let's talk about this other stuff here first so give me just a second uh, there we go All right. <clears throat> this is a hybrid cap so got a little juice on it there pardon me I've been actually using it which is the purpose of a mod got vent holes there and so it is a hybrid so make sure your 510 connector is of course protruding quite nicely the construction of this is brass I know there's some copper ones out there but I've got a brass one if you look through here I mean this thing is thick 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 I mean you can bludgeon someone to death with this damn thing the threading on it is very good I know you heard it kind of squeak there when I was taking the top off but that's just because it's dirty uh, I have since I have cleaned it when I first got it I cleaned it and they were just smooth as all get out so this is for only in 18650 this is not compatible with any other battery so that is and this thing this weighs a good amount I mean this is this is solid here people so let's talk about this switch because the switch is pretty freaking cool all right so let me bring my zoom in a little tighter here so you've got silver plated contact up here and you push it this has magnets on the inside I'm going to see if I can't put this on autofocus and see if it'll do a better job probably not all right manual focus it is all right. all right so I'm gonna have to check back every once in a while and make sure so to take this thing apart we'll just unscrew this contact and then the bottom will come out you got a magnet right there a little bit of iron filings that was I tried to clean this with stainless steel before I realized there were magnets in there so getting little shavings off there is pretty difficult and I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because I'm keep praying dragging my hands up and it's annoying the hell out of me all right so this part here just screws off and that's how you take off the magnet Boop. so you can clean this at your leisure screw it off it's got some flat parts there so you can take a pair of pliers if you need to and then there's a better look at that logo on the bottom vent holes all around okay inside of here all right so you see you got your vent holes you got three of them there's your other magnet your opposing magnet and you see right there you've got a cut out on that side cut out on that side <clears throat> that, that unscrews that's just like a little carrier and it's just got that little lip there and that's what's holding the magnet in and keeping it from bouncing around and going anywhere so let's take there we go all right so then if you look down even further in there right there it's got that VC Vapors Cloud Tech thing. Hold on, let me try to get that even a little bit better. There we go. So it's got that tech switch thing that is always making contact with the plunger thing. And in theory, what I'm told is it's supposed to uh take care of voltage drop and hot buttons and uh, <laughs> i ain't got uh i ain't got no voltage drop and i ain't got no hot buttons on this son bitch so i'm guessing that works um so there we go inside and that's just threaded in like i said you've got those two little things there and so you get it kind of got to get in there and move it around but it comes right out you've got your cutouts here for uh hmm, that was weird you know you can't even really see that in real life wow i'm zoomed up like hell anyway um got your cutouts there for venting 
Like I said, threading is really, really good. I can't get this black thing off. This just, you know, keeps the battery from resting on here. I haven't tried that hard, so uh, I'm good. So, anyway, take. And these are pretty stiff magnets. So, we'll put that in there. Simply screw this back on. like so and there you have it our switch is now and that's just a really nice it reminds me a lot of the um, well the whole contraption really brings to mind vapors cloud um, it really we'll, we'll get into that here in a little bit we'll get into that don't, don't remind me remind me we'll, we'll talk about it if I forget about it so Anyway, that's your switch, and then it'll just go in here. And what this allows, this allows for, you know, longer or shorter batteries to snug up to. So what I'll do is I usually just leave it out, protruding out like so. Take my battery. I do not recommend putting this in tip first or positive in first. I realize that there's venting down there and I realize that the venting up here is not as much as down there but when you put a battery in upside down you're making the entire let's see, that's your positive and that's the only positive the rest of this battery everything else is negative negative. and so if you put this down positive side down what happens is you're reversing everything and you're turning that into the negative and turning all the fucking battery outside into a positive. And if you have any nicks or anything in this, and if it makes contact, it will vent. And I know people say, well, it vents from the top, so you want it with the venting. Well, you know what? I would rather take away the chance of it touching the sides, you know, if you have a bad wrap on your battery or you have a nick in it somewhere. I'd rather take that chance than turn the whole freaking battery into a positive. So that's just me. So take this, screw this on, then it'll attach the Addy. So, and then I'll screw it down all the way. Okay. You'll notice that the logos do not line up in any shape, form, or fashion. And you can, you know, mess with it a little bit and uh, you know create little little gaps that nobody can see kind of stuff and try to get it over and line up I don't personally give that much two shits about it so it doesn't bother me and then you'll take and just take out your slack like so and voila we have vapors so that's the single actually let's take a hit off this I got an interesting flavor on here all right so that's the single what we've got here is oh goodness i'm gonna have to back up just a bit this is our stacked mod and bring my focus down here okay so this is the way it comes we've got the blue body with the um silver top and this isn't stainless steel this is aluminum um, that's what my build is in there. Can you see it? Yeah. So, and you'll notice we have one, two, three, four, four logos. Like I said, I think they like their logo and I'll be honest with you. I like their logo too. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've heard some people complain, you know, that the logos there and they don't line up i mean if you want to you can add just a little bit of a little bit of gap right there take the snug out of it uh, oh i don't have a battery in it <laughs> it's not going to fire unless you put batteries in it <laughs> yeah i just started vaping today um but you can line them up and i mean the gap there is not that noticeable you know what I mean? So you can line them up, and but to me, 
I think it looks sillier lined up than it does if it's just random. But that's me personally. So what we've got here is this. This bottom section is exactly the same as the black one you saw. Exactly the same. Nothing. Not a damn thing different. The difference comes in with this. This is your stack section. And there we go. Do, 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 do. Threading is nice. Nothing to it. It's nice and thick. It is exactly what it's advertising it is. Once again, hybrid. Everything, I mean, if you do this, congratulations. You have the black mod. Okay. They sell these in dual, well, double stack and triple stack. So if you want to, you can get one that has two of these sections and make it a triple stack. Um, why you would ever want to do that, I have no clue, but to each their own. So as with the other one, what we'll do is we'll just screw this on and let's go ahead and we'll take the switch out. Of course, I know there's an, you can put the batteries in through the top. It's a lot easier, but hey. We're not about easy on this channel. <sighs> all right, so we'll just screw that in. Take it all the way down. And like I said, sometimes it'll sit flush. Sometimes it won't. But it just kind of depends on the length of the batteries. Do I got any rattle there? Okay. This is something I've come across a couple times since I've had this thing is sometimes it comes down to how that contact rests up top on the top of the battery because it has to obviously make connection. See, if you just turn it up, I just switch the batteries around. Um, so this, um, there we go. It is a stack mod. It's 8.4 volts. It hits amazingly well. Well, you know what? No, it doesn't. It does not hit amazingly well. It hits exactly as you would expect an 8.4 volt mod to hit. It's not a shocker. It's 8.4 volts. It's gonna it's gonna give you some vapor. Um, so I think that's really all there is to show with this one um while we're up on close up just so you can kind of see this is what the this is the 30 millimeter dock and i've done a review on this one and it's the same on this one as it is that little one you see how it's got that block in between there uh on this one the juice can go back and forth through but on that little one it can't it's just solid all the way through so that's just something to keep in mind. It's got the same, same two post design. Um, everything is exactly the same. It's just in a smaller, smaller version on top of a couple batteries. So right now I think we're going to jump up top and then we're going to talk a little bit more about this because I've got a few th things that I've been wanting to say. I've been thinking about this for a few days. Uh, a few things I want to say about this and the na the nature of naming mods and all that good stuff. So bear with me. We will be jump up top and I'll see you here in just a minute. All right, we're back. So uh, we did a lot of talking there. Let's uh, let's stop and have a vape for a moment. Enjoy. Uh, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and use this bad boy, shall we? It puts out. It puts out. It does a really, really good job. Um, Damn, that was good. 
Let's have another one. What do you say? Come on. Here. You want, want to hit? Want to hit? Okay. Oh. That's pretty good. It is. That's good. So. Look at that one. Look at this one. So let's talk a little bit about these mods. I'm, I'm, my monitor is right there. And I'm used to looking at my monitor because the camera is usually up there. But now my monitor is right there. Right there. And so I'm having, to, I'm having a hard time making the adjustment talking to you instead of my computer. And I do apologize for that. I'm working on it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and talk about this bad boy uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the naming of this mod um, I hate the name I'm, I've seen some other reviewers they just keep going on and on and on where is that about logo after logo after logo after logo they, they think it's been logo to fucking death. I personally don't give a shit about whether it's logo to death. However, I wished it had a name. Um, it's just the 2019 Plan B Competition Stacked 18650. That's its name. Not Magical Wand. Not... Uh, the thump, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever name you want to call it, um, there's no fucking name. And I think that someone who doesn't know any better or someone who is maybe takes things more at face value than others, I think that's kind of a lie. Um, competition stacked mod um, and here's why there's no such thing as a competition mod before a competition during a competition any mod you use is a competition mod right um, let, how best to explain this um, I've, I've been vaping for a while now we've I've touched on that in previous videos and I've competed in cloud comps and all that other shit and um, I'll be honest with you if you come up against me with this I, I will fucking torch you <laughs> I will I will torch you to death this can't hang this for a two battery mod it is a fantastic mod this is a four battery mod it's going to torture you no matter what and if i'm allowed to use this in a competition and you come up against me with that i will dust you all day every day it's just the way it is um a mod does not make you a competition winner if you have let's say everybody competing in a comp cloud comp was using this exact mod with this same rda with the same exact setup i've got on down here would you all win but would you you're using competition mod so all of you would win right no a competition has more to do with your lung capacity and delivery than it does with the with the device you're using the device you're using is important but what sets what makes a champion versus a competitor is your lung capacity and your delivery um, there's a whole all kinds of little tips and tricks you can use to get bigger clouds and you know compete in competitions So that's my 
the number one complaint against this is what its name is. And if you're saying to yourself, boy, that's a pretty weak-ass fucking complaint against it. I mean, you got nothing else? No, I fucking don't. This is fantastic. This is... This is a $200 mod. You can buy this on Plan B Supply right now for $200. If you've got $200, go get it. Because it is... A fantastically made, fantastically performing stacked mech mod. I guess I gave away the end of the video. Uh, do I like it? Yeah. Um, and there's several things about this that are why I like this one and feel. I don't like overly expensive mech mods. I've got a lot of mech mods. One of these days I'll do a video. I've got a, I'm in the process of moving into this office um, and have been in the process for several months now, but I'm wanting to put shelves all up on the walls and for all my uh, mech mods. And so when that happens, I'll do a video and show you, I'm not just talking outside of my fucking head. I know mech mods. I love mech mods. They're my favorite things ever. Um, even if I don't use them, I love them. I love the appearance of them, the, you know, the, the shape, the feel, everything about them. Uh, the more engaging the switch is, the happier I am. I've got a few mods um, that have just awesome, awesome fucking uh, switches. But, so let's go over why I think this is worth $200 when I don't like spending a whole lot of money on a, on a tube mod. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a tube of fucking metal that they slap threads on, okay? The switch is really what where your money comes into a tube mod. You know, machining a, a piece of, you know, brass or copper or stainless steel and putting threads on it, it ain't all that. It's the switches with, you know, the multiple pieces of small intricate threading, stuff like that. That's where your cost comes in. And I am not a huge fan of paying lots and lots and lots of money for a tube mod. No matter how well it performs. This one is, while it's not overly priced, it, it's not super high. Um, there are some, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar tube mods out there. At $200, this is a fantastic, fantastic piece of equipment. All there is to it. So let's go through and sh I'll show you the few things about this that I absolutely positively adore and what makes, makes this, in my opinion, worth $200. That's the first one. 8.4 volts, you feel it. You put the right bill on here, you're going to feel this. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? So, let's go ahead and I brought another stack that I own. This is the VCM original stack mech mod. What I do, I love this mod. I do. I love this mod. However, it's very narrow and so it's very easy to knock to knock over super easy um it's all the same exact with you know diameter all the way around As a matter of fact i'm going to lay it down because it falls over so easy with this one it's got this flared out bottom and i know uh, there's other mech mods that use this design here they're not bringing something new to the table um you know, we were talking Vapor's Cloud earlier, and this reminds me a lot of, um, like, the 1111 um, or the Triple X. Is it 1111? Yeah, Triple X and 1111, I think it was. Shit, I can't remember. But anyway, I mean, they had the flared-out bottom. I mean, they borrowed very heavily from Vapor's Cloud. It's not a clone. They just borrowed real heavy for Vapor's Cloud. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's literally nothing wrong 
with taking something that someone else has come up with and adding your own touch to it. Um, but that's one of the reasons I like this. You set this down, you, you have to work to get it to fall over. Um, just with that wide ass base. I love, I love that. I mean, I can slide it across my damn table. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So you can't slide it that much, but, uh, it does, you know, it took a little bit to get that to fall over. This little cutout right here is just, oh my God, so comfortable. Once again, they're not the first ones to do this, but this is another reason why this tube mod is so fantastic. It just fits so perfect right there, man. It's just fantastic. I love the overall shape of it. I just, the, that, the, the lines, they just flow. This one, you know, it's got a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of lining right there. But for the most part, that looks like just like a tube of fucking copper that you could have got a fucking uh, Lowe's. You know what I mean? They engraved the name, put a little line around it, and, and away we go. Um, this one looks like they actually had to do some machine work to it <laughs> and get these beautiful, curvy, freaking lines, okay? Uh, the switch. The switch hits fantastic. Once again, they... <clears throat> borrowed elements from Vapor's Cloud with their uh, VC Tech switch. Well, so of other people. Um, and then the final uh, bit is because it is a hybrid with this RDA um, with the inside of it. I don't know if I can show you this or not. I don't know if this will show up. Here, let me. That thing is domed, domed, domed. Just like the 30 mil. And I'm here to tell you, the flavor of this little fucker is fantastic. Just really fantastic flavor for as much heat and power as you're throwing into this son of a bitch. The flavor is just top fucking notch, man. Uh, so, other than the name, other than the name, I, I love this thing. I would highly recommend it to anybody who is looking for a stacked mod, uh, who is comfortable building at 8.4 volts. Um, yeah, I mean, I cannot find the finish on it seems to be rather durable. Um, yeah, if you've got $200 to spend, I could think of a lot worse things to spend $200 on. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any, any more questions or anything else, if you feel I missed something, cause I always miss something. Always, 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 always. I miss something because I am, I've got this, um, I don't have like ADHD or anything like that, but when I get focused on something, um, I just start running with it. <laughs> and what's over here kind of just, I fly by that son of a bitch at 75 mile an hour. So sometimes I do forget stuff. Um, like on the, uh, the last video, the, the Triari, um, I forgot something about that. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot to look at the pin. And see, you know, and mention to you that it is a hybrid safe uh, uh, REA. So there's always something I miss. If you catch it, mention something down in the comments. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I know that right now vaping is taking a hit. Um, and soon things like this may become a thing of the past but I'm going to fight I hope you will fight so that we don't lose this so we don't lose it so once again thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video